New developments out of Texas today. A fifth bombing and the discovery of a suspicious package are both under investigation to figure out if there's a link to four blasts earlier this month in Austin as officials search for a suspected serial bomber. The latest blast happening here early this morning in the sorting area of a FedEx site in a San Antonio suburb, less than 100 kilometers southwest of Austin. A package had been traveling along the automated conveyor when it had, had exploded. One employee that was standing near the explosion later complained, uh, complained of ringing in the ears. She was treated and released. We were very fortunate that there were no injuries. According to the San Antonio Fire Department, the parcel was filled with nails and metal shrapnel. And officials say the package bomb apparently went out from a FedEx store in the Austin area and was addressed to an Austin home. We've been working uh, round the clock. Uh, again, the public safety is our number one priority, and we're uh, providing all the resources that we, ha that we can to uh, finally find some the person or individuals responsible for this. Also this morning, a hazardous materials team was called in to investigate a suspicious package at a FedEx shipping facility near Austin's airport. On Twitter, Austin police say they've responded to 420 suspicious package calls between 8 a.m. yesterday and 8 a.m. today, bringing the total number to 1,257 calls since approximately 8 a.m. on March 12th. Bombings earlier this month, including one activated by a tripwire Sunday night, left two people dead, including a 39-year-old man and a 17-year-old boy. Initially, police suspected the attacks may have been racially motivated. The victims in the first three bombings were black and Hispanic. The two men hurt Sunday night, both white. The White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders tweeting today, saying in part, there is no apparent nexus to terrorism at this time. Donald Trump weighing in today from the White House. The bombings in Austin are terrible. Uh, local, state, and federal are working hand in hand to get to the bottom of it. This is obviously a very, very sick individual or maybe individuals. These are sick people, and we will get to the bottom of it. Uh, what's going on in Austin, a great place, a tremendous place, is absolutely uh, disgraceful.